that kama feeling whether ule mwana maktu wa kutumina you've been you've been you've been pushing for so long then you see the biggest artist calling you you know it was like like a nightmare like it was it was i don't know how I can how, how i can describe it you know and and i answered it was like uh are you free tomorrow i was like akamba i've been free <laughs> What's good guys? Welcome to the WSD channel where we talk about what's trending on social media. So a few days ago, Your Maps was filling up Hilo Stadium and did a very, very, very huge achievement. Numbers of Lusaka residents went and filled up Hilo Stadium. And right now in this video, Your Maps was narrating how he became famous. His story is quite weird and I wanted to hear it and how Maktu helped him. If you're interested, turn and subscribe. We talk about this kind of videos and subscribe and so peace. How did your name come about? Uh, so those um, initials, okay. like M stand for Mulenga, that's my sign name. Then A stand for Anna, that's the first name of my younger sister. Okay, but she's late. Then P S, that's um, the first name of my younger sister. Her name is Precious. Yeah. Wow. So it's and then, a family. Yeah, yeah. People are like, no, his real name is Yora Yo Maplang. Mapla. <laughs> <laughs> where, where did you guys get that from? Where did you guys get that from? From the very beginning. How did from the you, beginning? Yeah, this your map start out. I discovered that I was a musician in 2008. Then uh, my first record was uh, in 2010. Then I became famous in 2018. So that period from 2010 to 2018, you're just hustling in the background. Yeah. I'll give you an example like Ulefo Akagelo, then Kakukana, you know. Nombaida Fej, you know. So that's, <laughs> that's the experience I had. You like, I just want like, I just want this to happen. I just want this to happen. But it took, um, so many years for me to achieve that. And uh, yeah, I am. What, what are the people around you saying? Like your friends were saying you push the music, your family. What were they saying in that eight years of, you know, pushing to become your maps? You know, some said your music is work. Some said um, your music is not good. You know, some said um, yeah, maybe and then I go out now, got my parents, but I go out, travel car engineer, travel car. <laughs> you realize? <so. laughs> like I asked you earlier, like it's one thing for a young musician who's upcoming in Lusaka to struggle. Mm -hmm. And in Lusaka, you've got countless radio stations, countless yeah. TV. You can just walk in, oh, this is my album, this is my single, yeah. this is my car, you know, EP. You were in Kabwe. First of all, in Kabwe, uh, at that time, we didn't even have a radio station, Facebook was not there. So, what we used to do with my friend. My best friend, my, he's my brother now, Kandeke. So we used to, um, uh, when, when sewing, you can see that Zaifa Kamulika ka flash, then Tambuenda door to door. There's a, there's a compound called Makululu in Kawe. Yes. Yeah, so we used to go there. Then, at that time, Kwari Koba, Daba Livi Kenyimboma, computer, you know, Bakubi Kamulika, Memory Card, yeah, those days. So <clears throat> we used to do that with my friend, like, to have a good money, to have a good flash, then to have a good Makululu, Revika, you know, door by door. Just like that. Then whenever there's a show, we'll go there, talk to one of the DJs there. You know, we perform. Maybe we perform. We chorus. But we didn't give up, and and we believed to say one day. When did that one day finally come? In uh, 2018, Kandeke is the one who called me. Then I was like, boy, buga ku kamba apa stage there. Meaning Mark II. So Mark had a show in Kawe. Then he said, uh, he said that uh, Yo Maps is the biggest thing. Like while he was performing on stage. Then people started calling me now. Boy, So I ended up show. Mark had So now, and you know, can take a Boy, bugens up kamba boy. Time time. He posted on his uh, social media platforms. Yeah. I was like, wow, this is my opportunity. So I called people like, I want his number. Then they gave me his number. I called him. I'm the one. I'm your maps. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dine big man, Dine your maps. Ah, big man. I have two songs. So I don't know which one you're going to jump on. Then he said, okay, send the songs. Then I had to send the songs on WhatsApp. So, um... I sent uh, two songs. I sent finally, and then we quite go for an song. Then, perhaps for two days, he recorded. Then he called me. Now you know that kind of feeling. Whether you've been in, you've been you've been pushing for so long, then you see the biggest artist calling you. You know, it was like 
like a nightmare like it was it was i don't know how i can how, how i can describe it you know and and i answered it was like uh are you free tomorrow i was like akamba i've been free big <laughs> 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 man i'm not free in here. okay can you come to lusaka and jele aba pay ne so dangu mile no mile okay fine what time say any time fine i called my dad uh dad this is what is going on oh okay that's good but i don't have money kwenda kuyendela kulusaka so uh but they don't me i think it was about 700 yeah about to me 700 okay go and do your thing so i went to lusaka he came to pick me up uh mo winter city is it winter city or i don't know city market somewhere there so he came with the big car the black car i don't know the name of that car you know so i was like yeah and he was he was waiting for me so when again at moto ka you know pa 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 we drove we drove we drove like five minutes i didn't say anything i was just like you know i'm just like nianga <laughs> like what's going on you know ah the botafica bond then i met um antinga his wife uh, that was my first time meeting her and then um baba but saving her and see ma i like is this really happening like maybe it's a dream or something you know Then after that Dad and Sima and Pereka ku studio eh tambombera na final manje mwana na Chaira and ABCD you know I was I was just like wow so he gave me the song so then when going back he gave me 500 yeah yeah transport he drove he, he had to drop me kwa mene ku kwenda kuleka kwenda fikira pa best so na bwana boya ka wena pa ah kanyu bwana ka mix and I think two months in my mixing a chenyu <laughs> so, so after my sailor then i dropped the song suddenly the song became something else you know like people people started talking about the song like you know there is this song called finally the song became famous in kabwe but people didn't know who sang this song like when was like ah, it's maki's song you know and then and i was like no this is my song <laughs> <laughs> you know where you go when the market then what person want to buy is a nyembo then swak ziva like they are not even paying they are not even paying attention like hello ni nyembo yanga you know so uh, then one of my friend kande i mean uh, kandeke then he said ah, boy i think it is shooting hv bakuone <laughs> bakuone <laughs> now we didn't have money you know they been damn what's like it shooting the shooting video then say what do we do tend to me never mda katumira mzimaya mzimaya mangala again is na music yet sasa to pass tend to me mda so we got uh, the 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 uh, my mbe era so ah it's a nice so my it even drama za video okay nizingat video then that time i think it was charging i think about 7000 yeah 7000 then we, we told him you know 8000 8000 they said okay turn pa shop mbo mtene ndrama that's how we went with kandeke we got the money then we came to busaka so and that's how After a month we received a call from Copper Belt and and these people wanted wanted us to go and perform for wedding wedding how we didn't know how much we should charge <laughs> <laughs> so now we're doing that so how much do you charge to perform finite <laughs> so i was telling her well, how much how much are we going to charge them then it was a it was a for pin boy and you know ah, for, for pin was so sakana si cool for pin <laughs> so it was a for pin for pin for pin wants an accommodation and transport jele for pin okay so that to me ramuti was like eh ah tinga to me no mobile man mobile man eh they been out me na nambo time time two minutes two pin again ah tina jumpa yo de eh you know what we did we went back we went to a certain bar we bought a crate of mosi that that big mosi yeah. you know those we are young trust me we are very very young So we bought a big church crazy church yeah. <laughs> mos. We said and then can they come say boy. So but too much just like that to people. But too much just like that. Can you imagine so nice. Ah okay okay okay. And from there we now got to me. No, want you to come and perform. So 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 how much? I wanted to say maybe seven pin. But that was a seven pin. But now it's a six pin. But pass. And that's how everything started. You know. So we started like when we get the money we invest maybe to watch a video here and there pangono pangono tamuka kuna tuma shows you know here and there nezisha na kamuntu cheka mene kakandeke cheke zisha hapa awe boy awe boy iwe ndo mkali iwe iwe ndo mkali iwe you make it we'll make it you know and from that time is is the only person who like who used to encourage me like who 
kept me believing that things will change one day. People say you're Zambia's biggest artist. Do you think you're Zambia's biggest artist? <laughs> well, um, um, to answer that question, uh, you know, like we, we have uh, different opinions, you know. Uh, some might say no he's not the biggest artist some might say he's the biggest artist but if i was to tell you my opinion well i am i'm one of the greatest i'm one of the biggest artists if you ask me from my point my point yeah. of view i mean there's a belief in yourself because if you don't if you doubt if, others will you know? yeah it's, that's the thing <laughs> which song never misses at your shows it never misses but you will see whether no you only have two minutes you will put it there Try again. I mean, uh, pick it up. Pick it up. Yes. Okay. What was the backstory to pick it up? You know, the, um, there was a point when I was down, like literally down. There was a time when um, drama, you know, came online um, uh, uh, and, and um, I lost contracts with uh, uh, brands. People started terminating the, the contracts uh, which I had with them for shows and all that. It was a very, very uh, difficult moment for me yeah, at that time uh, because of certain things, you know. Um, so at that time, I decided to do a song which not just going to encourage people, but nine in the foot. Yeah. Yeah, so. Do you get like a lot of upcoming artists wanting you on their songs? Yeah. Like how, how, how many times do you get like, I need a phone in my inbox, in my mm. one Thousand. Thousand. Every day I get to think about 500 to 600 calls. Huh? Yeah, missed calls every single day. People want a feature. Yeah, not not necessary. People want feature, uh, features. Uh, sometimes people want some people calling for help. You know, yeah, just different different situations. Um, let's talk about your marriage. Um, you know, you and I have one thing in common. <laughs> <laughs> I said we have something in common, as in. Like, you know, I think where when you get married, no, manja bazaina, you get a point. Right? Yeah. Like, I'm married five years, like, I'm, I'm still the same. Like, I, I haven't, you know. No one can come and tell me, no, you know, malaina, you know. Do you get that? That kind of thing. Because for me, it's like, I feel like that's just where my body is. I can eat, I can, but it's, it's just, and I like it like this. You know? Because you're eating more than just my eggs. No. Because my eggs. In fact, madam wanga tantamba, and I is sa. In fact, for singer six times. And what would you say you love the most about your wife? She's that kind of person that I can talk to. Like when I'm facing challenges, you know, is that kind of person I can sit down and talk to. And she will listen. And she will advise me. So let me tell you a story about my wife. Um, I remember back then, it should be in 2020. Yeah, yeah, 2020. You know, um, when things were just like coming up, you know, like Yomap Sabu Yelashabe Pajai, I didn't have money. I was renting at one car, you know. So when I met my wife, and so most of the time, you know, because that time I was young, so kwa lewati mwenda maka nishbala nishkagero kwa pamoja mwenye kagero sana sana andi na kwa na pamoja sio chipa na bure ramu kubond kabure na kwe kubond sio chape so most of the time <coughs> kazo anga kabure na kunyumba za chicken fest abanga abanga na pa then she never used to say anything so she just go back so like the best thing kwa na tundala you know like kumanga chipa matuma beola ma beola pa 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 iko no let's go let's go and chill you know let's go pa Chicago and all that so she was like so you when you, whenever you get money, she you can talk to Chicago. <laughs> so you anyway, Chicago. You know. So one day, um, one day I, I I I had a deal, a big deal. Like I, I became a brand ambassador to a certain company, and uh, these people were um, offering. I think about one million. Yeah. So they gave me about five hundred thousand. So now, uh, you know when you're excited. <laughs> <laughs> then in my head. Mwezeche like big car, moto kache, no nikache, you know, come guys check a chiti kache, you know, ndekariko. So I I sat down with my 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 wife. That time she had na mkazi wangu. So I was like, ah, eh, exe, me I call my wife, exe, exe, ah, hmm, now we nako something, something, something. Hmm, the Amazon says, yes. Then she was like, what do you want to do with this money? I'm like, ah, imoto kaini futamani ingeni na so. 
want, <laughs> I want to buy a Benz. I want to buy a Benz. Yeah. Why do you want to buy a Benz? You already have a, a car. Jerem this oh na is moto kai you know gra benzi you know she said but she was like ah, if i were you i would buy a plot and start building and run away from renting mm. so in the kutenga drama was 500 you know pass someone to plot je i call so she said ah, okay no it's your money do whatever you want to do with your money but if i were you I would buy a plot and start building my own house so that I run away from these challenges. Say so, okay cool. So she went back to to school kwa mene. So ah na bwana ngana mba pizza nje. But much 500 inga mange nyumba. You know where you start asking yourself a lot of questions. Oh, okay okay. So na bwana mtumi na phone. They're okay babe. So what do you think? What what do you think I should do? She so, said you know what? Get 200, buy a plot. Then 300, use it for a foundation then you start building after two years trust me is nyumba asira so that's how i bought a plot so we went to lilai that's type as a plot then we bought a plot then we we finished the house tinako kiramu is tikabeni plastic that bofaka na matawes we started staying there once if nasena is tikali mkati mwenye mtu so most of the time when i sit down and the people are saying no your wife is everything i'm just like you don't know <laughs> I just like you don't know. <laughs> you don't know, you know. So that's the thing. She's a she's one kind of person that I can talk to and she she always listen and she likes advising. No, oh, yeah, there. No, we can't know. Hey, what? Hey, hey, Sean, you know. But which is a good thing. To be honest, I feel like you guys are strong. Like how do you feel when people go for high and you know bully and what not and what not and And you sit there. I, f- I feel bad to be honest. How would you feel if someone mm. talks here about your wife? You know, how would you feel? I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm not doing enough to protect her, you know. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. You know, but social media is, is it's a, it's a different world. You can't control everyone. Yeah. You understand? So, I feel bad, but the good part is that um we are strong enough to handle uh, certain issues where the behind the scenes or on social media you know and and, and that's what i love uh, the most 